Hello and welcome back to the South Dakota Dynasty. Today the Coyotes are back at home. They are currently 1-1 one and one on this season and they'll be taking on the UAB Blazers. This is a interesting game and a new era for the Coyotes as Jer Miller dislocated his knee last week and Jalen Tate, the redshirt freshman, will be taking over as the quarterback moving forward. He's a good runner with a big arm, but accuracy is a question. And he will take the field to open as we get underway. Dontavious Knight back to return the kick. He'll take it from his own end zone and will cut out to the left. He's got room to run past the 40 and still going brought down at the 44-yard line. Tay Knight has had big receiving numbers so far. He's had multiple 60-plus yard touchdowns through the air this year. We will start on the ground game as the give goes to Jalen Page. He picks up one yard. He had 28 carries in week one and only 11 last week. Now Rakeem Boyd is in the game, the third string running back, as he picks up one yard. Third down and nine now, Jalen Tate's probably going to have to throw. They'll set up a screen pass for him, though it goes to Jacoby Patton, who has the first down, a 13-yard reception. Jalen Tate looked pretty good throwing the ball last week. He came in the third quarter and was the quarterback moving forward from there through for 157, a touchdown and an interception. Dontavious Knight comes in motion, and it's pitched and picked. It's Kendrick Swoops who's going to take it. Dontavious Knight trying to chase him down, and Swoops is going to go all the way as it is Keandre Swoops for the scoop and score. Not even really a scoop, just a, a pick and a score on the pitch. So UAB is back on defense. We're back on offense. We'll start off with a five-yard run for Rakeem Boyd. Now a split backfield as Tate throws outside. Nice job by Muhammad Ali Saria going up, cutting off the defender, and he's still going. He ends up with an 18-yard reception. Stick with the split backfield as they fake it to Knight and pitch it to Page. He makes a move and picks up around four or five yards, and it'll be second down. Second down and six, three wide with McDonald in the slot. They give it to Page, and great option defense there by the Blazers. It's a loss of two and another third down and passing situation. Tate's going to throw, fires, and McDonald hangs on. Great catch in traffic. There are major questions about his hands, but he does a good job there to silence some of them. Now Tate on the quarterback draws. They motion Knight out of the backfield, but it results in a loss of three. I like the idea, though, on the play call. Now Tate will keep it on the read option, run straight up the middle, and you see what he is able to do. And the difference between him and J.R. Miller is that is a big run there. We'll sweep it outside for Dontavious Knight. He cuts up and will take it all the way untouched into the end zone for a 14-yard touchdown as we have tied this game back up at 7-7. Seven seven. UAB's offense takes the field for the first time for today as they are on the field with a two minutes and 30 seconds left. And we'll have to see what their offense is able to do. Their defense already gave them one score. Throw underneath for Samario Rudolph, who picks up the first. It's a 10-yard reception. So first down and 10, they'll go empty. Lucero is the quarterback. He fakes the run, and he's going to throw. Goes outside. Samario Rudolph with a great toe-tapping catch along the sideline. UAB another up-tempo offense. We'll have to see how our defense is able to deal. Lucero's a better athlete than Maverick McIver is, but McIver ran for over 100 yards last week against us, and that does not bode well today. They'll sweep it outside for Spencer Shelby, as it's a loss of two. Ladorian McCray, who had 10 tackles last week, comes away with the tackle for loss. Third down and 12, all day for Lucero. He steps up, throws. He might could have run for it instead of the inaccurate pass. Ball's incomplete and UAB will kick the field goal. We near the end of the first quarters. We'll give it to Ladorian Bolden as he picks up seven yards in the first down. Getting more backs involved today. I expect that to stay as the trend as we move throughout the season. McDonald comes in motion. They're going to throw it to him on a little swing pass to the right. And Phoenix McDonald has his second catch. This one goes for six yards. On third down and five, three wide. McDonald in the slot. And not quite enough for the first. As McDonald has four yards and will be forced to punt the ball away. 
the Coyotes will bring a blitz on first down. Great job picking it up, and the tight end is wide open. It is Jarius Thomas inside of Coyotes territory, a 23-yard gain. Now be Lucero keeping it on the read option. He's got great blocks by his receivers, and now he stiff arms Juwan Hooper, still going inside of the 20-yard line and brought down. It's a 30-yard gain for the quarterback. Four wide as they'll spread the field. Draw play, nowhere to go for Shelby. He loses four yards. It's Jackson Harvey who gets credited for the tackle for loss. Now third down and 10 as Lucero will throw. He goes outside. He's got a wide open man, Josh Johnson. Blown coverage. And as UAB extends their lead out to 10 points, and our offense will retake the field. So I expect this offense with Jalen Tate at quarterback to really rely on the running game. But if we get down by too much, it's definitely going to be tough to do that. Last week, though, we really couldn't get a whole lot done through the running game as Jalen Page was shut down for the most part. Now Tate will step up and run slides down, avoiding the hit, and picks up eight yards. So second down and two will go pistol, twin tight end. Tate will roll out to his right, throws underneath for Cordell Hicks, who is hit down hard but picks up the first, and our drive will continue. Third down and six, shotgun, McDonald in the slot. Tate's going to throw, steps back, and can't get the pass away. Good coverage downfield and a good job by the defense getting pressure. And the offense will stay on the field, though. Fourth down and six, throw underneath for Patton. And he is close, but does not get enough. He gets six yards and was stopped maybe an inch shy. Just could not do quite enough to get across the yellow marker. And UAB's offense will retake the field, and they have a chance to extend this lead even further. Samario so Rudolph underneath. He's brought down by Terrence Mitchell. It's a gain of 13 and a first down. Now Thomas, the tight end, is motioned to the backfield. As Lucero will keep it, he cuts up the middle of the field. He's still going, and no one's going to catch him. He breaks free. He'll go 49 yards for the touchdown, and UAB is now up by 17 points. This game has gotten away from us very quickly as UAB has scored frequently, and they've scored 17 unanswered points. Tate will keep it on the read option. He picks up two yards on his sixth carry in this first half. So third down and five, throw outside for Patton. Good job running with it. And as he picks up 15 yards, and it's his third catch. Twin tight end, as will work from the pistol. Tate throws underneath for Brock Peterson, and the second string tight end has it for four yards. I think you'll see a lot of running and a lot of play action with Tate as the quarterback. Now it's a throw underneath for Jalen Page as he picks up 12 yards on the halfback angle route. Dontavious Knight motioned out of the backfield once again. They'll throw underneath though to Cordell Hicks as Knight took the linebacker with him. And it's a big gain of 15 yards. We have about a minute and a half left in this first half. And we'll spread the field with Hicks and McDonald in the slot. Give goes to Jalen Page as he picks up six yards. Now a minute left is Ladorian Bolden is the running back, but Tate's gonna keep it. He's got room to run inside the 10 yard line and down to the five. So it'll be first down and goal. Twin tight end, power running, and Page is met and will lose a yard of two. So it'll be second down and goal. Peterson is the tight end. Now as Tate's gonna throw, goes underneath. He's got Page who powers his way into the end zone. Right through the defender is Jalen Tate has his second career passing touchdown. And he looked really good on that drive. And our offense as a whole looked really good. Lucero moving the pocket to his right. Throws off balance. And it's caught. What a throw and adjustment by Jarius Thomas. With six seconds left, they now have a chance for a field goal attempt. And the kick is up and it is good. So they extend their lead out to 13 with a miraculous throw and catch by Bryson Lucero and we will head into halftime down by two scores when our defense to come up with some stops and our offense to make some plays. In the first half I thought our offense looked pretty good. The interception on the pitch by Jalen Tate is a real difference right now but I think both sides of our offense looked good. We're out gaining them so far but they've made plays when they needed to and really dominating the time of possession. 
UAB will open, though, with the ball to start the second half as Lucero keeps it and has the first down to the 40-yard line as they now have 86 rushing yards. Trips to the right as Shelby is the back, but Lucero will keep it once again as he has a big run but is lit up by Ross Bukowski. But Bryson Lucero over 100 yards rushing, and we continue to struggle with stopping running quarterbacks. Pitch to the tight end, Thomas. He's got six yards on the run as Eric Zakowski stops him, but it is a first down. So trips to the left as Lucero is going to throw. He goes underneath for Samario Rudolph, who has another reception. He's brought down by Dion Perkins, who has made a couple plays so far this season. Second down and eight. They give it to Shelby this time. And Deron Covington, the true freshman nose tackle, brings him down. It's a gain of five as Shelby is still negative in rushing yards. And that's going to stay true as it's Dion Perkins in the backfield. It's a loss of three. As that is his fourth tackle and it'll be a field goal attempt. The kick it is away and it is good as it's still a two score game but the lead is now 16. Cordell Hicks comes in motion as we will keep it on the outside as it is Jalen Tate for a nice run. He's inside a Blazer territory, a gain of 21. Phoenix McDonald in the slot as Deontay Knox comes in motion. Tate's going to throw that way wide open. It's Deontay Knox. He's inside of the red zone now. A big 25-yard gain. The pistol full house as they give it to Dontavious Knight. He stretches it outside. He's got room to run inside of the five-yard line and brought down after a 16-yard gain. It'll be goal to go. Now second down and goal from the one. Give to Bolden, and he fights his way into the end zone as we are back in the scoring column. It is now a nine point game as we kick the extra point and don't go for two. Lucero's gonna throw, he goes to his left as he's got Brown and he's brought down by Dion Kendrick who was burned a couple times last week by Keyshawn Carter. First down and 10, here's Shelby. He finally has a positive run as this one goes for seven yards but he is still negative in the rushing column after six carries. Second down and three, Lucero's gonna keep it. He's got the first down. We've been shutting down the running backs the last two games in the running game, but the quarterbacks are lighting us up and doing a great job of doing option plays. Lucero will keep it. He's brought down by Jawan Hooper as he picks up nine yards. He's got seven carries, 117 yards. Lucero will keep it and McCray can't bring him down. Shadow Hansen and Ross Bukowski stop him but it's a first down and a 13 yard run. Man comes in motion as Lucero's gonna throw. He goes underneath to Waller as he is brought down and bites forward to the nine yard line. It'll be gold to go for this Blazers offense. Our defense came up with a couple of good stops in the red zone last week, but they won't do it this time. It is Titus Smith Lindsay into the end zone for a nine yard rushing touchdown. And it is now 36 to 21 and UAB is going to go for it. Lucero to the air and the receiver drops it. So it'll be a 15 point ball game with two minutes left in the third quarter. We'll start off second down and 10 twin tight end as it's Paige. Nice job escaping to the edge, avoids the negative play and picks up seven yards. But Jalen Page is struggling once again, 10 carries for 22 yards. Tate with a deep drop across the middle. Muhammad Ali Saria on third down with a big reception as he gets open. He's a very good route runner. First down and 10. Now it's Jalen Tate. Great block there by Jacoby Patton. And Tate is into the open field. He'll take it all the way for a 55-yard rushing touchdown as Jalen Tate is over 100 yards rushing today and has been very effective in the quarterback run game. Lucero outside, he's got Samario Rudolph. It is a 20 yard reception as they faked the screen and went down the sideline. 57 seconds left, Lucero steps up and he'll go down. It's Shadow Hansen with the sack as that is his first on the season. Second down and 12 throw underneath this. Rudolph once again, Latrell Hill can't bring him down and finally gets him down and out of bounds but gets about 15 yards after contact there. Lucero will lob it outside and Terrence Mitchell brings down Jarius Thomas and we near the end of the third quarter. 
Lucero will keep it. He's got room to run. Zakowski takes a bad angle and misses. And it's a first down run. And we will head into the fourth quarter down by eight points. We need a defensive play here to really get us back in this game and gives us a chance. Lucero will step up, run once again. And we continue to not be able to stop the QB run game as it's three straight weeks where the quarterbacks have run the ball well on us. And McCray comes up, tackle for loss. He dives and gets the shoestring tackle and UAB will settle for the field goal as there is a huge play. Jacoby Patton comes in motion as it will be Tate who pitches it out wide and Patton up the sideline. He picks up 16 yards and we're in good position now. Ladorian Bolden checks in. He gets the handoff. will go straight up the middle and falls forward for eight yards. Now Rakeem Boyd checks in as we go two backs in the backfield. And Boyd breaks a tackle and picks up the first down. But we do have a flag down. And it's going to be clipping on the coyote. So that will negate the run. It was a good one, though, by the redshirt sophomore running back. Page will motion his way out of the backfield. They give it to Boyd. And after the one successful run that didn't count, this one does as he picks up nine yards. Boyd is still the back as they're riding the hot hand. He's got room to run once more. He picks up nine yards again, and it is second down and one. Bolden is the back as we're getting more backs involved today with Jalen Page's struggle today and the last game. As there's the sixth carry for Bolden, he picks up seven. Now it's Dontavious Knight in the game, and offensive line doesn't do a good job blocking there. It's only a gain of three. Knight will motion out of the backfield. We'll go trips to the left. Tate throws that way. He's got Saria. He's inside of the 10 and brought down to the two yard line. A 25 yard gain for the senior. We'll stay with the same set, but reverse it. And Dontavious Knight is into the end zone for the two yard rushing touchdown. And we've cut this to a one score game. And now it's up to our defense. Let's see if they can get a stop or if UAB can run some clock. Justice O'Connor brings down Spencer Shelby as he now has eight carries for seven yards. We've absolutely shut him down. Throw in some Mario Rudolph drops it and it will be a stop forced by our defense and our offense is back on the field in great field position. Page gets the handoff this time as he falls forward, picks up seven yards, and we're already in UAB territory. Pistol full house on second down and three. Tate will roll out to his right, keeping his eyes downfield, and now he's going to take off. Cuts it back to the left and is leveled at the 27-yard line, but hops right back up, and he is now 156 yards rushing as that is a season high for this team and by far a career high but he'll lose seven there as Jeff Outlaw has the sack. A split backfield quick pitch to Dontavious Knight and not much room to work with. Good job getting off the block it's a gain of two. Third down and 15. Tate will work in the pocket he'll step off and gets a yard or two but it'd be fourth down and 15. And we're gonna go for it. We'll spread the field four wide. Hicks and Muhammad Ali Saria in the slot. They go to Saria in triple coverage. And Saria can't bring it in. So UAB will take back over. A first down will pretty much end this game. But we have all three timeouts left. We'll use our first one there. Second down and seven. They give it to Shelby. Dion Perkins brings him down. It's another gain of three. We've got one timeout left. They'll go bunch shotgun to the left. Lucero's going to throw outside. He's got Brown, and he doesn't get enough for the first down. So our offense will get one more chance at this. We got one timeout and a minute 15 to work with. Knox can't get out of bounds as he picks up six yards. The clock will run its second down and four. Tate's going to go to the air, and he's going to go down. Great coverage by the Blazers secondary, and we will use our final timeout. We got 56 seconds left. Tate's going to throw. Cross the middle. It's nearly intercepted by Will Connor, and it'll be fourth down and 11 now. This is the game right here. If we don't convert, the game is over. 
Tate goes. He throws as he was being hit and gets it out to Jacoby Patton for 33 yards. The pressure arrived, but Tate stood strong and gets the pass away. Now a throw to Cordell Hicks. He doesn't get the first down or out of bounds, so the clock will continue to run. Third down and one. We're going to throw it once more, and it is incomplete looking for Brock Peterson. Another fourth down upcoming with 23 seconds left. We'll go shotgun four wide. Tate's going to keep it as they go to the ground game. He's got room to run. Inside of the 10, inside of the 5, and down to the 4-yard line. The clock will stop for the chains to get set. We've got 15 seconds left. Tate's going to throw. He's got Page, and he's just shy. The clock will run. They need to get up to the line and call a play. They're at five seconds. Now down to three seconds. Trying to get up there. Two, one, and they don't get the snap away. So we will lose today's game to UAB. We were about two inches away from winning, and instead we will drop to one and two on the season in devastating fashion as Bryson Lucero was very good and he is your player of the game. We were so close to becoming 2-1 and one and getting off to a great start to this season. Instead, we're now 1-2 and two and we need to fight back in the following weeks. But I thought Jalen Tate was very good today. He threw the ball well for 237, added 170 on the ground. He was basically our entire offense. And he was absolutely incredible in his first career start. I couldn't have expected him to play that well. The running isn't super surprising, but how well he threw the ball definitely was. And we actually outgained them by over 120 yards and had much more time of possession, but could not do enough to win today. We had more first downs. The biggest thing I can think that was the difference maker was the defensive touchdown in the first quarter but we'll have to move forward we'll be heading off the mainland to Hawaii for our next game Hawaii is one and one on the season they run the run and shoot offense so you know they're gonna want to throw the football and we'll have to see how we're able to do against them and how Jalen Tate does moving forward he has 400 yards passing now two touchdowns and one interception and has been sacked three times after only after a very strong performance today, Tate is now our leading rusher with 235 yards, and Jacoby Patton and Deontay Knox lead us in receiving. Eric Zakowski leads us in tackles. Ladorian McCray leads us in tackles for loss, with Deion Perkins, who doesn't get a ton of playing time, having three. This is a pretty talented Hawaii offense. I think they have some nice players. They have a freshman All-American and Porter, and then some really nice size at receiver, so we'll have to see how our defense is able to handle that. And hopefully we can do a better job of slowing down another somewhat athletic quarterback. But if you did enjoy today's ball game, please leave a like down below, comment your thoughts on the game down below, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of the South Dakota Dynasty. It was a tough game to swallow. We were so close to getting the win, but at the end of the day, football is a game of inches, and we saw that being very literal today, being inches away from the win. But I will see you next time as we head out to Honolulu for our game against Hawaii. I hope you have a great rest of your day.